It's amazing. Um, first of all, <laughs> um, you get to learn your growth potential. It's Melissa Tomlinson, and I'm a field recruiter for Region 3 and part of Region 2. It was something different, and I knew it would put me out of my comfort zone to push myself to grow. Leanne Price, and I'm a multitasker, wear many hats. I work at the warehouse. I help with accounting. Um, I'm our safety coordinator. Um, I've done service. I've managed Toyota parts. I've been an outside sales rep. So, <laughs> um, I love the idea about Women of Hudson. Um, being in the automotive industry uh, for probably 16, 17 years now, um, it is a predominantly man environment um, and I I feel like this program has offered so much opportunity um, to other ladies out there that didn't know that we have the opportunities that we have. My name is Jan Queen and I am the assistant controller slash HR journalist for Midlands Toyota. Whenever um, everything first came out about Women of Hudson I was a little hesitant to join um, just because I especially when I started this, didn't really see myself as a leader. Um, I didn't want to be in a leadership role. Um, and then eventually I saw that everyone else was doing it and kind of peer pressured into it. Um, and I kind of realized that like, I guess I did want to be a leader and I wanted to like surround myself with people that were going to help me grow into that kind of position um, and go a little bit outside my comfort zone. My name is Emma Brown and I am a marketing manager here at Spartanburg Toyota. I think that the opportunity that it provides to me as well as the platform that it gives to all women is such a vital role to play in not only the industry that we're in but in the corporate world as well. My name is Lydia Calloway. I am the lead staff accountant for uh, Hudson Corporates. I was so interested in learning more about um, this industry because it's new to me. My name is Kathleen Farrell and I'm Ryan Duncan's executive assistant. I decided to be a part of Women of Hudson because I felt that it would be a good way to network with other women that I usually wouldn't have contact with just to open just to open lines of communication and, and have different people to reach out to, whether it just be to say hi or to have someone as a resource. Candace McClary, corporate staff accountant. I feel like in automotive specifically, but even in marketing also, that there aren't a lot of females to look up to and to go to for guidance and help and um, you don't get a lot of women in power positions and so having a group of other women who have succeeded have had put themselves out there who've gone above and beyond to enhance their career and having that and seeing that has been really beneficial as far as gaining the confidence needed in a management role or a director role. My name is Emma Gall and I am the corporate marketing director. So our growth starts when we start taking control and responsibility for what happens instead of waiting for things around us to change. The law of the rubber band was a big one for me because I had always gotten to the point where I had reached my level of comfortable and stretching beyond that was something I'd never really considered before. So um, it really made me realize that that was one of the things that was holding me back the most is not being really willing to stretch beyond the things that um, I already knew or was already comfortable doing. Before all of my growth was, it was slowed. It was the forced growth. I forget, it, I think um, Maxwell has a term for it, but it's uh, basically growing without intentionality. Uh -huh. you're, you're forced to grow because there's literally nowhere else for you to go. And after having someone who saw more in me than I saw in myself, I could it seemed like so many more doors opened and my world was so much bigger because I was like, 
cool, I was doing this little bit of growth growing a foot at a time, but now I see football fields. I can grow football fields at a time because someone else believed that I could. I feel like before this, I thought that growth was a lot harder than it actually is. I thought growth would mean putting in a lot more work than it actually is. And now looking at it, I'm like, it, it doesn't have to be this giant leap. Like it can be like small steps that get you to your growth. That's something that I can always use and is not just so focused on here at work. But even with that, it we did the, the disc analysis where we were able to kind of interact and see different types of communications in the work in the workplace. So that does help and gives me a different perspective on how I approach certain situations or certain people. It was actually the first one growing with intention. Uh, just because um, it kick-started my growth for me. Uh, and then I realized, you know, to start getting uncomfortable and raise my hand and just rather somebody else raises their hand or not or speaks, then I'd be the one to do it. <laughs> I feel like the entire thing has just been so wonderful and, and knowledgeable. Um, it's, it's good stuff. It has actually helped me open my eyes and look at myself in a different perspective. Um, to see people, um, we're all different and it, it's helped me understand that we're all different. We all think differently. We all see things differently and it's helped me learn to have more patience with myself and with others. Probably the growth potential because like I said, you know, a second ago that from six months ago to present, you know, I get to learn and how to grow in my role and with the dealership and help other women. So that's part of my recruiting question now and how I react back. I'm like, hey, we have a great group and it's called Women of Hudson. So if you come on board and you accept the offer, you know, we're going to make you part of our our group awesome. and you can grow in your role. What this means is if we take control of our lives and start shaping our habits, we start to control our lives. And so we don't actually decide our future. We decide our habits and then our habits decide our future. I would say um, learning about habits has really stuck with me. Um, I'm not someone or that would not that I didn't have habits, but I didn't know how to like create some of the habits that I did want to create um, start before we started all of this. So learning about the habits and learning about how to develop habits and grow these like positive habits in my life based on my personality was very helpful to me. I feel like a lot of times when you do learn how to grow habits, it's like generalized and that doesn't work for everybody. So learning how to best um, grow these habits based on who I am as a person was really beneficial to me. I feel like before this, I thought that growth was a lot harder than it actually is. I thought growth would mean putting in a lot more work than it actually is. And now looking at it, I'm like, it, it doesn't have to be this giant leap. Like it can be like small steps that get you to your growth. As we talk about being intentional with our communication, that is what it means, right? When we say words, we don't know how they're going to affect somebody. So please, when you talk, think about that. I really have enjoyed the topics on communication. There was, a, I think it was a blog that was shared with us about stacking habits and just trying to incorporate different habits or change existing habits that I really um, found useful. They can determine our productivity and effectiveness. They can bring out the best or worst in our character. They can determine our mental health, our level of success in life. They even dictate our fundamental belief system. So many things. Um, as for aside from like reaching beyond the things that I was comfortable like going to the edge of comfortable and seeing that there's there's still some ground there for me to cover um, also taking a uh, hard look at my environment and seeing the things that my outward environment tends to be an inward reflection of myself and so when there's chaos in my outward environment it's because there's chaos inside and it uh, required me to reconcile those two and 
to start making changes on my exterior environment to cause calm inside. A life's difficulties don't allow us to stay the same. They move us. The question is, which way are you going to be moved? Forward or backwards? I would say that the growing through pain was one of the biggest topics that really um, like hit me hard because I've been through a lot in my life as far as like difficulties um, with my health and so that I've always been one who's been like super positive about everything and like I'm going to push through this I'm going to get onto the other side I'm not going to deal with the issues right now I'll deal with it later until I can be to there and so for that it was nice to see that, that other people and like are doing that are growing through that are finding creative ways to grow through their pain and be stronger on the outside of that. I would say that um, the one on pain um, stuck out to me. Uh, well, first of all, I was there in person for um, for that session. And um, secondly, as I told you, it was a session I wasn't necessarily looking forward to, but then once, um, you know, it was kind of revealed um, what it was, it was actually incredibly um, motivating and inspiring. It wasn't, you know, remotely depressing or um, I came out of that, um, you know, just very inspired by um, these people's, these women's stories and um, just, uh, you know, just what I was saying, just always putting putting an, another foot in front of the other and then amazing things can happen if you just keep moving forward. Um, I think it's the community and the energy that comes with that. I love going to the events. You really feel how everybody is there and supportive and you get to talk to so many people that you never, never would have had any kind of contact with. Just the networking, being able to talk to other ladies that, again, I probably would never have had conversations with and hearing their stories, you know, what it is that they do for the company and just the, the camaraderie of it all. I like uh, the camaraderie that has brought us in this in the store. Um, you know, we didn't have too many people as members and then uh, and I was like, come on guys, you know, we can have group lunches and, and now everybody really looks forward to it. And we, it's, it's, I think it's brought us, us closer, um, as, uh, you know, we, we just know more about each other now, uh, personally and everything just from the time we've spent together. So it's, it's definitely brought us, uh, closer, which has been a great side effect. Seeing all of the, the other women in our organization find the light that I found when I read the book. Like seeing all of them also realize that they are capable of so much and seeing the happiness that it brings to them and how much we have turned what was a small garden into a huge field of growth. And it's been beautiful to see all the light up in everybody else's face and how happy everyone, all the other women in this organization are to see that kind of growth. That's to realize that they just needed somebody to believe in them too. And so that they could do this amazing thing. Sometimes all we need is someone to tell us that we can. I think the friendships is what I have really enjoyed the most. Um, now, all of the material is fabulous. I, I cannot wait to see where this program goes, but building the friendships, um, I think has been the most enjoyable for me. I really loved um, going to the in-person events and meeting people outside of Spartanburg Toyota. Um, I feel like here at Spartanburg Toyota, like I know most of the women, I mean, it's the auto industry, so we don't have a lot of women all yeah. the time. So I knew most of the people here, but even just like getting to know them a little bit more and meeting people outside of here in our organization. And um, I know at the in-person events, you know, you we have to get to know other people. And I remember the first time going, I was like, uh, I don't want to talk to a stranger. But yeah, it was definitely a lot more fun and helped me out a lot.